Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. This evening we're going to be talking about how we can um, prepare, put together and store um, basically prepared bucktail. Um, so mixed bucktail for your cascades um, or even for the likes of your um, your willy guns. Okay, so I've got three different colours here. So this is for preparing for a few willy gun flies. So I've got my yellow bucktail. I've got my orange bucktail. Not much left of it. And also my black bucktail. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is cut a wee bit of each. So I'll just have my hair stacker here, which I'll be putting it all into. So first things first is I'm going to take a clump of each colour. Just set them to the side. And you can do an equal balance. You can do more yellow, more orange, more black, whatever you prefer. These are going to be for a few small, say 12, 14, and even smaller little flies for low water. So again, I put that beside the yellow, and then finally the black. And because it's going to be for low water, I'm going to put in a bit more black than I would the yellow and orange. Just slightly darkens the fly a little bit. If it was for spring or for a larger fly, I might have more orange and yellow but for for this for the small flies black and um, you want it to be the dominant colour so just pull it off I didn't add in the previous ones I should have pulled off any of the under fur and if you can just line up the tips of the three colours if you don't get them lined up properly it doesn't matter that's the whole point of this this exercise and as I'm holding my arm putting out all the under fur now Okay, so I have three colours and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll them with my thumb and finger. And as I roll I want to twist them. So you can see I'm rolling them here on the finger but also then holding the other hand and twisting them and then the same way. And as you do this you'll start to see it mix into the proper willy gun colours. And it's starting to come through nicely now. And so this is when we start to see a blend, you may go, actually I want a bit more yellow or orange or black. So feel free to add it in. But I think that mixture looks good for, for what I intend to use it for anyway. You can see it's not a massive clump either. If I had a massive clump, it wouldn't it wouldn't turn my, my fingers and thumb as easy. It would be harder to spread. So everyone, well, a lot of people would maybe just do three large clumps and hope for the best, but probably cost more time than what you're thinking you're saving. Okay, so I think that's well mixed there. If you can see that. Now you can see there's some big hairs out here, and then the bulk is probably about this section here. So I want to just grab these bigger hairs. I'm trying to line them as best I can. The hair stacker will finalize this, but I want to just try and get it as nice as possible so it's easier to get in the hair stacker. Okay. And if there's okay. And then if there's some that you're just struggling to get lined, you can always take them out, don't be worrying. So there we go, we'll have a nice mixture of, of different lamps. Got your hair stacker, it doesn't have to be a fancy one, this is just a couple of pounds off eBay. And then you can put it in a twist. What I prefer to do is use my extra fingers here and hold the bottom to get the first section in, and then as we go around, it twists. And some of the hairs will bend backwards, but we will get those later on. Okay. Then we just tap it on the desk a few times. Okay. And then if you pull it out from the stacker, or if you pull the centre part of the stacker out, you'll see that the majority of those tips are laid. There's only that not 
you can fill them out, save them, stack them again next time around. And that's just because of the length. Okay. I'm going to put that in again with the, the other fibers. So we can get this better lined up. Okay. That's looking a lot better there now. So you can see them lined up. Okay, there you go. So I'll be using these for, for small flies. So what I'm holding here is more than enough length. And that'll probably do me about, I don't know, I'll probably do about at least half a dozen flies there. So you're not having to prepare for every fly. And you can stack these, you can, while you're here, you can stack up a few of these sets. But a lot of people then store these in the box and have to stack them every time they, they reuse them. But what I do is I hold them from the tips, put it on the, the excess here, and I cut them to whatever length. Well, I cut them more than the length that I need. So it's more than enough. Okay. And then I get my super glue. A bit of tin foil, and if you put super clean tin foil, it'll stay wet for several hours. And all you need to do is put a bit of tin foil on the super glue, or a bit of super glue on tin foil, should I say? And then dab dab the ends, the cut ends, into the glue. Or actually, I had some more glue prepared. I'll just put that directly in. I said I'm not using the full length of this anyway, but if you are, try and keep a wee bit of this end to good use. Okay, so you'll see most of those fibers starting to stick together now. And the ones that aren't, you can pinch them. I should really have a bit of plastic or something here, but I'll use my hands. Here we go. I'll see a bit of super glue just to make sure. Okay, very happy with that there. So that's your your mix of Bucktail fur, as I said, you can have it in cascade colours, willy gun colours, whatever colours you want. Um, but that'll save you a lot of time. There'll be a bit less wastage as well. And you can prepare, you see now in a couple of minutes, you can prepare half a dozen of these. And you could get several dozen flies out of them, you know. Um, and what you do is, whenever you're ready, you just run your scissors into the section you want. And just cut away. You just pull the section off. And cut where you need to, and then you've still got the rest all, all stuff to get out of the glue. You just put that aside and store it in a wee container, whatever you think yourself. So that's it, folks. Hope you hope you you find that useful, and um, find that useful. And thanks very much for watching. If if you if you liked it, give us a wee thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe and share the channel if you want as well. Until next time, thanks very much and tight lines.